Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Hell Let Loose on the PlayStation 5. So we are playing on a different map than the one we played last time. We're actually playing on Utah Beach, which is a really cool map when you play the mode where one team starts as a defensive team while the other starts as uh, the offensive one because they actually have to attack the beaches. Kind of like some Saving Private Ryan stuff. And it's serious. Mm-hmm. So we are playing as the officer class. That means we're the ones who place the outposts for our team. With your lucky watch. So yeah, we use our watch for that. And so now our team will be able to spawn right here, which we're pretty close to the, the enemy objective here. Could get a little bit closer, but I've already tried doing that. We got killed a couple times, so. It's a hell of a run to the front. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's this these open fields here and there are snipers everywhere and yeah, it's a rough going guys get in the bushes. yeah I expect that we're gonna get get shot I think last time we got shot right on the road yeah. here the road we is dangerous and then died well yeah we were about to start recording we laid down and like oh we'll just lay down get this retort recording started and nope. then, I, then I got shot guys Bitty doo -dah, bullet to the brain mm-hmm <laughs> Oh, yeah. Of rich. Feel like, <laughs> feel like they're shooting at us right now. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Don't run towards me!" <laughs> All right, so yeah, I think somebody with a machine gun was off over there shooting at us. We just barely made it, and we're dead. <laughs> All right, well, luckily we placed that spawn point, and so now we should be able to spawn. Yeah, you know, we're fairly close to where we were at. Yeah, this is the officer class. I've been trying out some different classes since that previous video we did. Uh, which, if you want more like general description of what this game is, then maybe go check out uh, that previous video. Now, we have not been playing this very much. I think I'm like level 9 or something like that. So I'm still kind of a newbie. But I do have a bit more experience than I had before. And I've been trying out different classes. Playing as a medic quite a bit, as well as this here officer class. Which, I don't really like playing as an officer class, but it's kind of like necessary if nobody else is doing it. Because otherwise, you go through what we went through before we started recording today, which was just uh, running from the, <laughs> the the far back headquarters line all the way up to the front line here. Which takes about a good, I don't know, three, four, five minutes to do. map's pretty full tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know how many people are playing on this one. We have the full hundred right now, guys. Yeah, full 50 on 50. There's just people everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to try and get across here. I'm so jelly. I'm going to play. Yeah, it's such a bummer that we don't have another PlayStation 5. Now, Jinx can always sign in and play on this PS5. She actually thought about doing that last night, but she started playing something else instead. But yeah, other than us taking turns on this, which we've done that in the past. Well, I don't really want to play on the big screen because of the whole motion sickness thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah make Jinx sick. Well, this is the furthest we've gotten. I probably just jinxed us, but... Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so as far as where we're at here, we're still pretty far away. We'll be able to see that point. Do you only get, like, one spawn point to drop? You know, I'm not sure. I think you just get like, one. Can you move it? You can always move it. Yeah, so we could put it here. That'd be a good spot. Mm-hmm. Though, we might not be able to place inside of buildings. Oh, uh, maybe. Because I've had problems putting in the buildings in the past. I don't think you can put it in buildings. So I'll put it right here so it'll be a little bit closer. Oh, oh get out of there. We also have binoculars, Jinx. Oh, those are useful. So oh, you can see them the there? Yep. Watch out behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to switch over to our gun here. We can try shooting at them. See how successful that ends up being. This gun is not the best for long-range fighting, which is one of the reasons I don't like playing as the officer. Dude's got a rocket launcher. Oh, uh, was that guy dead? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he looks pretty dead. Can we have his bazooka? <laughs> so yeah, I don't think we want to run off that way, guys. The field is dangerous. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's not even the way we need to go, either. We need to go this way. It looks like they were trying to flank us. Ooh. And I don't know if that was a, a plane. Might have been a plane. 
But yeah, I gotta say, guys, after playing on a lot more of the maps, I think I've played on... Yeah, yeah. we died. I think I've played on almost all the maps at this point. Maybe one or two of them I haven't seen yet. But I gotta say, these are some of the best maps I've seen in a first-person game. All right, so we actually have two locations. So I figured out the difference between these since the last video, the, the garrisons, and we're actually gonna turn these guys down. I actually normally have them a little bit higher because I try and use the mic. Oh, it looks like this all got messed up. Okay, all of our settings got messed up here. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I normally have this up so that I can hear people because I try and use my mic and communicate with, with my team. But since we're recording, we're not going to do any of that. But yeah, the difference between the garrison spawn and the outpost spawn, the outpost one is the one that's placed by the officers, while the garrison is placed by the commander. Oh, okay. And so everybody on the team can use these. Uh, you also notice that there's usually a longer deploy point for those as well. I know that if you kill your own team and they punish you, then you get like 10 seconds more onto your... Oh, that's what the punishment mm -hmm. is. Yeah, it's like 10 seconds more on the deploy. Not because I've ever killed my own team or anything. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it happened once. But I get I get killed by uh, team members far more often. In fact, I had this little duel going on with another guy. Because he killed on me. Team? On my team. Because he killed me, so I felt like I needed to get revenge. So I went and killed him, and then it just didn't end. <laughs> we just found ourselves killing each other. I wanted to end it, but I would like try and stay well, away from him and stuff. Did he kill you on purpose? Yeah, he killed me on purpose. Wow. Yeah, he most yeah. definitely killed me on purpose the first time. I think he was just trying to... Start some shit. Yeah. Grumpy old troll. Yeah, that's why you don't feed the trolls, guys. Alright, so how far away are we from this? I don't actually know where we're even at right now. Alright, so we're right there. And the point has moved. We've already taken this objective, so we actually need to move over to here. So we've pushed them back to the beach, essentially. So this is the beach, and again, it's it's really cool when you have the actual like invasion of the beach, because mm -hmm. they have like uh, these troop ships that they they come off of. Yeah, that's got to be scary for them coming mm -hmm. in. Yeah. So I've only got to do it one time, defend a beach like this, and it was really awesome. Have you been the offense yet? No, I have not been on the the offense on attacking the beach. I haven't played that mode very often though, where like one team starts with all the objectives. Mm -hmm. I haven't really started on, on that very often. So how much further do we need to go over here? Probably pretty far. I might get killed while looking at my map. I think we need to go over that way. Get your head down. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we'll just kind of go down these foxholes and these trenches. Eek. Oh. <laughs> We are in sprint. If you're sprinting, it does take a bit longer to, to pull that gun up. Well, yeah, because you're shocked. Mm -hmm. you're like, I didn't know there was a dude there. Now, I should probably move the, the spawn point, guys. Yeah, we should move the spawn point. So we're going to spawn at our outpost spawn. And then rather than going to the beach... Go north. Yeah, we're just going to go straight along the edge here. And then we'll place place a spawn point a little bit closer. I always forget how slow he runs. You know, but I man, this terrain is rough. I don't know if there's a patch that sped up the sprinting, or if I've just gotten used to it. But it seems like he's running faster than when I remember in the first video. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe I just kind of gotten used to it from playing the game over the last couple nights. I guess that makes sense. Sometimes I feel like I'm running really fast. <laughs> I know it's not true, though. <laughs> I mean, you only know that one speed, right, Jinx? Yeah. That's your fastest speed. Zoom, zoom. But yeah, I gotta say, this is this is uh, some of the best maps. Now, is it better than Battlefield maps? I would say no for a couple reasons. First of all, the lack of destructibility is kind of big. I really miss that. So you can't really destroy stuff in this game. So that's big. Uh, the urban areas in Battlefield are much better than the urban areas in this game. You're just able to like maneuver a little bit easier than you can in this game. Well, and then this one, you can't like open doors or anything. Yeah, there's not a lot of doors. I mean, you can't interact with any doors. So if the door's not open, you can't can't go there. Seems like somebody else put a thing here as well. All right, so we can move a little bit more. Hold on, I'm probably get shot trying to do this. Yeah, just trying to give our, our team a good, our squad a good area to 
to spawn from. Maybe behind these bushes over here. Man. <laughs> oh shit. Uh oh, artillery fire. Turn away. <laughs> Alright. I think that's it. But let's go ahead and place this before we die. This dude is scared. Alright, so it looks like our team has just about snatched this point, so I think we're about to get the win. Uh, let's go ahead and chuck some grenades over here, just cause. Hopefully I don't hit anybody who's friendly. <laughs> it didn't seem like anyone was over there on our team. Oh, and there's a victory. Oh my god. Alright, okay. so we didn't we didn't really contribute much here, guys. We got on like right right when we started this recording was pretty much when we got on here. So we didn't really contribute a whole lot. I guess we got a few points. Alright guys, so it looks like we're going to be doing the other beach, which is Omaha Beach. So you guys get to see the beach here from the beginning. And we're going to play with... Who you want to play with? Charlie? Dog? I guess they're all filling up pretty quick. Let's do Dog. Just pick one. We'll do Dog Squad. So they already have an officer. Uh, they don't have a medic yet, so we'll play as the medic. Now, I did just level up starting right before this match here. Uh, we leveled up to level 10, which means we can finally play as a commander if we wanted to, which I've never played as a commander because you can't do it until level 10. Oh, you're going to be on the ship. Yeah, it's pretty cool. We'll actually get to see the amphibious invasion and from the other side, the side I've never played as. Jinx was just asking if we had done that. And so, yeah, one side, the enemy here is going to be uh, defending the beaches and uh, us as the Americans will be assaulting the beaches of Normandy here at Omaha Beach. And so this will be kind of exciting because I've never seen this before. <laughs> okay, so these are the, uh, the amphibious... Uh, I don't remember what they called these, but basically our landing ship here. Nobody's shooting at you. Nobody's shooting at us. So they did not get to the beaches quick enough. They don't start on the beaches? You know what? I don't remember. I've only done it one time. Uh -huh. I think you start closer to the beach. I don't know if that's our guy. Yeah, that's not our guy. He's trying to run people over. <laughs> you can actually get a lot of kills just running people over in those, yeah, I guess that's a tactic. those trucks. I feel like they feel almost overpowered because I've like shot the driver of those many times. And it feels like they you're not doing any damage to the driver. Yeah, even like proof glass. Yeah, even if you shoot through the window and stuff. Man, we are going so slow through here. Heavy. I really felt like that little transport ship would have brought us a little bit closer. No, he's like, oh, oh. goodness. Okay, well, so some carnage a and a bit of ambiance here. Mm-hmm. YouTube's not gonna like any of that. Nope. All right. So very saving Private Ryany. I mean, I think that that movie has pretty much established with the assault on Normandy Beach has to look like in every single video game. Cause yeah. it seems like they all, it did a great job with it. I it mean, did, yeah. shit, somebody's shooting at us. You see the, uh, that little lightning bolt looking thing over there? Mm -hmm. Or I guess it's not lightning bolt. It's a, uh, the morphine, oh, the little syringe. Okay. Those are the dudes, oh, we dudes who need healing. Those are the dudes <laughs> who need to be revived. Um, yep. I was running over to revive them, but we didn't damn. make it. So they are oh, on the, the beach medic? now. <laughs> yep, they shot the medic. That's not nice. Nobody respects that medic sign. So I assume we got to start back <laughs> in the beginning now. Unless our officer is putting down a point, which they have not. So yeah, we'll have to go to this one. Do some more swimming. Mm-hmm. That's just this game, guys. You die a lot. Quite a bit. Do you have unlimited morphine as a medic? You know, I'm not sure. I've never ran out of it, but I have ran out of ammunition. Uh, we had talked about in the previous video. Uh, I didn't know if there was ammunition or not because, you know, the riflemen had ammunition boxes, but I had never ran out of ammunition up to that point. I have ran out of it many times now, though. If you do really well and you find yourself on, like, a kill streak, you're getting, like, uh, you know, five, six kills or whatever in a row, then you'll you'll run out of ammunition. And then no one will share. And then nobody shares. Yeah, I was playing as I think an automatic rifleman, and so yeah, I didn't have I didn't have any ammunition. I'd used it all up. I've been defending this point. I've killed quite a few dudes doing so. Didn't have no grenades left or anything. And I had like two riflemen in my squad. You know, they're the ones that have the ammunition boxes. 
And I'm over here on the mic asking them to drop their ammo box. Like, come on, man. And yeah, nobody will resupply me. So I'm like literally rubbing, running around with a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to die at this point. I don't really see the point I'm playing if I don't have any ammunition. Mm -hmm. God damn. Yeah, they got us again. It's <sighs> unfortunate. Burst. There is a medic 80 meters away. Oh, it does show that. Uh, I think we had mentioned that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does show the medics. I think he's coming for you. He might be. Yeah, we'll just hold on until he gets here. He's getting closer. Yeah, it seems like he's running over here. So, yeah, maybe he'll revive us. In which case, we'll get to keep running forward. Oh, okay. Yep. So, yeah, Golden is reviving us. Thanks, Thank you, man. man. Now, that does not heal you. Ah. Uh, but as the medic, you have more bandages, so you can, like, heal them. Like, you know, most people seem to just... Yeah, that'll take some time. Yeah, most people seem to expect you to just heal yourself, How though. How much do you really like the guy? That's what I typically do, though. Sometimes I'll heal somebody up. Like, if we're right in the middle of a firefight, we're, like, laying on the ground or something. I mean, I would, because I would feel like it was my job. But you can see that we also get the little notification for somebody low on health. So that guy right there. Rick Sig. Who's yep. you? Get down. Yeah, we're going to get down real quick. We'll crawl up. Oh. But yeah, we could like heal that guy up or whatever. So, like we have a guy there that needs to be revived. Think we should revive him? If we can. Run! Just save one more. Alright, so we'll get our, our morphine out. You should run faster with the morphine out. Yeah, if you don't have your gun out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Heal him from your belly. Yes, that's the one I preferred way of healing. <laughs> and so yeah, you can see that he's damaged, so he needs to heal himself. He's not. But gonna, we though. we could heal him up here, well, but he, he doesn't care. So he's like whatever. I was gonna heal him. Maybe he doesn't know. Maybe he's just trying to get out of here. Like, hey guy, your legs over here. <laughs> you gotta put that back on first. Oh, I see him up there. I don't want to waste the shot. Oh. <laughs> We're in a firefight. But like, we didn't get anywhere near hitting him. <laughs> <laughs> well, we scared him. He's got soggy britches now. I mean, we Still weren't the only one. There's the yep, I see him over there. Bridges. He's shooting at us. Get down. <sighs> I just thought shooting in his general direction, like, it wasn't even close to, like, <laughs> going yeah. near him. I just, I'm going to just start shooting. At least a bullet will go by him. He'll hear my <laughs> hear my bullet, at this least. This was for you. So we decided to wait here a little bit longer, and the medic did start coming over here, guys. So we might get revived. There's two of them. I think one of them's probably not, not coming over here. He's a little bit too far. Yeah, he's over here. The question is, can he revive us without getting himself shot? And that was a yes. Good All right, job, so let's go ahead and heal our shells. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> All right. Oh, jeez. Yeah. This is a rough situation. Getting off this beach, I imagine, can be quite difficult. Oh, well, yeah. I've only been on defense for this, so <laughs> we had a really easy time keeping them on the beach. I don't even know they even got off the beach, actually on that, that one time I played this. I feel like they never got off the beach. Have you played as recon? As a recon team? Yeah. No, I haven't. Well, so the recon, right you have a, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, I see him. You sure it looks like, away. sure that's not a leaf? It looks like a leaf well, to there's me, There's a Jinx. dude up there running around next to that guy. Take the hill. Take the hill. If y'all don't know where that's from, if I've mentioned that in any videos you've watched, I had a, uh, a smoke, who's our in, in artillery, which we that's what we call our our platoon sergeant, which is a sergeant first class typically. And our smoke, he was from, God, I can't even remember now, Korea or Vietnam. <laughs> I think it was Vietnam. And he used to say that whenever we did PT, whenever we run up the hill, he'd say, "Take the hill." And so I everybody said it. <laughs> we took that hill. <laughs> oh, we took her. I hate taking hills. <laughs> <laughs> I see him. Oh, shit. Okay, we need to get down. Yeah. And we need to... Uh, oh, we only have smoke grenades. I forgot we had smoke grenades. I should have been using these. Well, you could scare them real bad. Alright, so we're just... <laughs> I was hoping to, like, throw some grenades and blow some people up. But 
but we don't have that like, ability. Damn it, I'm a medic. We can smoke <laughs> them out though. Oh, there's a lot of people that need help. Oh no. So let's see if we can't get these guys revived. Get back in the go, game. Go, 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 go on. All right, that's one. Come on, go, go, go. All right, so we're getting these guys back into the fight. You're gonna be fine. There's a lot more down over there. Oh no. <laughs> All right, well this is our job, guys. We're gonna bring them back. Or try to, anyways. Although I don't know where they went. Oh, they're far away. Okay. Yeah. I was just looking at that wrong. Oh, shit. I want to say they were on this side, so I don't want to... I mean, really, it seems like you just can't even go Fall anywhere. Up the hill. <laughs> Get on your belly. Maybe go up around this way. Yeah, that seems smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, some other people thought about it. If we didn't get through here, got yeah, this thick-ass brush. Okay, we've got an opening here. I feel like somebody hiding over there would be a good place to hide. Alright, so we're just going to try and sprint forward. Get past those machine guns. I don't know how well this is going to work out, guys. You can see they're dropping like flies, though. Yeah. Maybe we can get over there and help them. I don't know. Yeah, We've used all our smoke. Kind of wishing we hadn't. Because <laughs> that would have been useful to bring some of these guys back. Alright. I don't think you're going to make I kinda it. I kind of feel like... I feel like we got to kind of open in here. I know I'm like the only guy sprinting right now. Everybody Stop. else... <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, if you just drop an open field, that doesn't always work out. Because they know where you're at. But sometimes it does. <laughs> you want to get behind, like, a hill right here. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like anybody is making it. See the guy walking. <laughs> I'm not hitting him. I'm probably not leading him enough. All right, let's get back down a little bit. That yeah, guy in the grass is firing. Is he? I guess I can't see him. Oh, hold up, hold up. <laughs> What are you doing up there, silly? He stayed alive a little while. So where's this guy? Oh, there he is. I see him. Right there. Yep. <laughs> I saw him now. You see that we are starting to run low on time here, guys. Yeah. I just messed that area up. I also I took a look at our, our kill situation, and we were able to get one kill. I don't I don't know who we killed, but we killed somebody. Got somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were able to kill somebody on one of those random shots I was putting out there. Oh, shit. Why can't I revive that guy? He's too far dead. Headshot? Oh, maybe? he has headshot, yeah. I bet he has headshot. Alright, so we're on our belly. I need a laser And we're crawling pointer. in. <laughs> yeah, if you had a laser pointer, you could show me the things you see. Would that fuck up the TV, though? You know what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I mean, people use it on... Yeah, like projectors and TVs. And I mean, a projector's not right? a TV, but I, I don't know, think it would probably. cause any problems. Yeah, there's like a machine gunner over there. I'll have there. to look that up. I don't think I can hit him from here. Yeah, we can try, but yeah. I'll get one of those like circle mm -hmm. attachments. I mean, there's the guy. <laughs> yeah, Jinx could be showing me where these these enemies are. Oh lord, there's the machine gunner. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> so if you hear that little ping, that means a headshot. So if oh, you hear that and somebody you. headshotted you, which is why nobody can revive us, and also if you're shooting at somebody and you hear that ping, then it lets you know that you got a headshot on them and they're dead. Oh, so if you shoot somebody in the head, you get that sound too? You get too. the ping too, yep. Okay. That's really the only way to know that you hit somebody, is if you get the headshot. Otherwise, you're, you won't be entirely sure if you got anybody. Now, it does make a distinct sound when you hit somebody's body, but you only really hear that if you're close. Does yeah, I think... sound like, ugh? Uh, sounds kind of like bullets <laughs> hitting flesh, I think. I mean, we're like halfway to get that point, but oh, oh lord, shit. no, 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 no. Come on. We're gonna try and heal. I don't know if this is gonna work out. It'll be fine. Yeah, we almost have the point, guys. No thanks to us, of course. What are you talking about? You're in it for moral <laughs> support. I'm gonna try and revive this guy here. I don't know if this is gonna work out. Come on, get up. Nope. The same guy that killed them <laughs> probably killed us. They're like shooting fish in a barrel. Uh-huh. 
I imagine you'd be getting like insane kills on, on this one here. True. Because yeah, when I did it, I did really good. I only died a couple times. I picked the machine gunner and I just posted myself. <laughs> I was just spraying people as they come up on the beach. And I think that was my best game. Oh, we took we the point. It. We got it. All right, awesome. And so with that, we're now off the beaches. Ooh. And it should be easier going here. And you'll notice the time also increased. Because we were starting to run pretty low on time. Now, I assume there's still a lot of guys like in this area, bad guys, mm -hmm. that haven't re fully retreated. So we do want to be kind of cautious when we go. As a medic, you don't want to be leading the front anyways. <laughs> so you guys go on ahead, I'll catch up. <laughs> well, yeah, because you're going to revive them all. Alright, so we'll follow our squad member here. Bring him back if he dies. So yeah, it looks like we're going into an urban area here, like a little town, a village. And yeah, this is one of the things I'd say is is not as good as Battlefield. Uh, because, you know, you can't really navigate as well as you can in Battlefield. In Battlefield, you can climb just about anything in a way. As long as you can kind of reach up to it, you can climb it. Yeah, oh, shit. Smooth. Oh, damn. You've been hit. Bandage your wound quickly. Okay. <laughs> I'd love to. Let me just get that bandage out. Oh, it's already covered in blood. So sometimes being in a bat gets you killed. It reminds me of that uh, enemy at the gates when they all wanted to be the first one to jump across. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the first one alerts everybody. And then the second one's the one who gets all shot up and gets a hole in their pants. <laughs> hole in their britches. We got a long movie. spawn point here. All right, well, I guess we'll do it. Yeah, that's a great movie. It's about uh, the Battle of Stalingrad. It's the Russians fighting the Germans. Yeah, the, the urban settings, you know, with the lack of the doors, the just lack of, like, interior it's areas. Like there's not a lot of interior areas. Every once in a while, there's, like, a building you can go inside of. And it just all results. And, you know, I feel like that guy killed. Yeah. Killed yeah. his own teammate there. Yeah, it just yeah, results right. in the urban settings just not being as good as in Battlefield. In a poof of smoke. Yeah, I felt like he killed his own oh my friend. God. And then he hacked him up. And then he, uh... Then he left the match, what probably. A fucking monster. Yeah. It's kind of a jerk thing to do. Can you hack people up? I don't. I don't know. That was a mess. I've never really tried to do that before. I think feel like he like exploded them or something. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, maybe he chucked a grenade and killed them both. So where's that guy that killed us while we were running across here? Maybe in that that window. Well, the window's closed. <laughs> you can still shoot out of it. Can you? Yeah, you can shoot out the windows. Now. Yes, yes you can. <laughs> yeah, we have this next point, so now we got a long run, guys. I almost want to just redeploy. Uh, redeploy and also results in a, a penalty. Oh, uh, maybe that was their plan. What, to redeploy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe his buddy agreed to be killed. I don't know. He's like, just kill me, man. That's too much running. <laughs> I'm not running that far. You know, I can relate. Yeah, I'm at this point where sometimes I'll sit in the menu for a while, like, switching teams. If I keep can't find a team that has, like, an officer who's placing points, and it's like, you know, I got to run across the entire map, I'm not doing that. It just takes too long. I don't have time for that. It's quicker to try out all the different squads available and find one who places points than it is to run all the way across the map. I enjoy digital running. I feel like I was actually doing something <laughs> instead of just dying. At least you're moving forward, right? <laughs> like, look at me go. <laughs> I'm making progress. But yeah, it, does, it gets really annoying. And then for you to run that far, and you, you know, if you don't have a good officer, yeah, you don't have any points. You run that far and then you die and now you gotta make that run again. That would be frustrating. Yeah, and I'm not doing that. Is that just happened too many times? So yeah, I don't do it anymore. If I had a long run, then I'll, I'll actually quit the match. <laughs> if no other, like if there's no teams putting points down, if none of the squads, like usually when you have like the smaller matches, you're playing late at night, it's like 35 people or something on there. And you just don't have very many options. You guys, I'm going home. I want to pick up an apple and eat it mm -hmm. as we jog. I mean, well, I would. You need mm -hmm. your energy. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's we're not even while. We're not remotely <laughs> close to getting Grab there. Grab a Snickers. <laughs> Barack Obama? 
We're playing with Barack oh, Obama, shit. guys. Wonder if he's any good. <laughs> he needs our assistance. <laughs> we need to go save the former president. We're coming, Mr. <laughs> president. <laughs> oh, it looks like he healed himself. Oh, is that a dude? No. Huh? I thought there was a dude. Well, I mean, there has to be somebody around here for, you know, that guy to have gotten shot. And then this guy's over here, like, Been crawling. Down. Yeah. Yeah, I thought there was somebody down the road, but it could have been one of ours. It might have been somebody down the road. I hear some shooting. I feel like me peeking out is a good way to get shot, though. I don't know. I don't see anybody. Yeah, maybe it was him. I mean, there's there's definitely somebody shooting around here. Cause I saw somebody shooting at uh, one of the guys over there. They're probably hanging out in these houses. Oh, we got a squad member dead. Oh, no. All right, so we're gonna get over there and revive him, and that'll be our way of helping out in this mission since we're definitely not getting kills or anything. Oh no. He's screaming for his oh, mama. Shit. Oh, oh shit. We're not healing anybody. That looked like a guy over there up on that hill. I think it was just a plant though. <laughs> but the way I look at it is like maybe it is a guy. If it moves, <laughs> shoot it. <laughs> we'll shoot it a couple times and see. So yeah, unfortunately we're not able to revive our team member. I'm wondering if this is going to let us get closer. No. Oh no. All right, guys, so we found a squad where the officer is actually placing points down, although it seems like this is a garrison spawn point, so maybe the commander placed this. Uh, so, yeah, we're now in Jig squad, essentially. We're still playing as a medic. And they do have an officer, though. Or else I would have played as the, the officer. Make sure we get points placed. But yeah, we should be right up close here, guys. I Meaning we'll probably die fairly quickly. <laughs> as soon as we spawn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I have some good matches where I do pretty well. But I already know that, like, it's so far and few between. Like, I'd say, like, one out of every four matches I do really well. On, like, a battlefield where I'd say I'd probably do fairly well, you know, I don't know, four out of every five or something like that. Maybe more than that. But yeah, it's so far and few between that I don't think we'll ever get it on camera. <laughs> It'd be a unicorn if yeah. we could get it on camera. Yeah, these videos will pretty much always be mostly running and me dying. <laughs> and a team killer. So that's where you can punish them. Uh -huh. I always do. Cause like, like, I don't know if you did it on purpose. I don't know. And what is It's 10 seconds more redeployment. Guess how long I just spent having to redeploy. And just be like, hey, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> like I just got, you just added an extra minute on my time. So I don't really feel like giving you an extra 10 seconds, whether you did it by accident or not. You still just took a minute of my gaming time away. 10 seconds really doesn't seem like yeah, enough. Yeah, it's really not. Especially considering that people legitimately just kill teammates just because. Because there's no one else around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta shoot something. Now, gotta it doesn't count as fingers. a kill, so at least there's that, because that would be horrible game design. If you got, like, points for killing your team. Some Frankly, just wanna watch world I, don't, I don't know if the game does this, but if it doesn't, it should. It should take points away for killing your team members. You can get, like, negative kills. And it, it's so easy to avoid. Like, you, you get, you know, told you, you killed a teammate. And I think I've done it the whole time I've been playing. I've killed two people on oh, my team. that's coming yeah. our way. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I tried running off to the side. <laughs> Yeah. Excuse me. That was like that tornado coming. <laughs> like, oh, there's no escaping that. <laughs> oh All lord! You, you know what? Like that tie blew a up. Belt around your waist and then attach it to like a pole. Yeah, because that be was good. in the movie Jinx. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have uh, the garrison point anymore. That garrison point was destroyed by the. No. Yeah, by the That's artillery. Probably why they did it. Clever bastards. So. All we can do is, like, again, try to hop in other squads. And, you know, I know that this is probably not, you know, the best way to play the game. I guess we're going to be a rifleman here. It is what it is. You yeah, run. I'm not going to run that far. And, like, I blame the officer of that squad. Like, why are they not placing points? It's not that difficult to place a point up closer and give your, your squad somewhere to spawn closer. And I can see if the squad doesn't have an officer, 
then you know obviously you could be I, I usually will just play as the officer so that we'll have one even though I don't even really like playing as the officer there's a lot of shooting going on yeah. down here I don't see any dead people though no, uh, no, we're, we can't revive anybody now. We're not the medic anymore. Oh, we're not. Okay. No, we've got ammo boxes now. Never mind. Or in one ammo box. Yeah, there's definitely some people around mm -hmm. here. Are those all bad guys? Yeah. <laughs> well, we got at least two of them, right? Uh oh. <laughs> But that was intense for them. They're like, they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they're completely surrounded they're as they're trying to get out of there. No medic. Oh, there was a medic nearby. There's but nowhere to go. We could have waited for him. But so you can see on the map, our team's doing a pretty good job pushing forward. And I looked at our kills. We only killed one of those guys, unfortunately. Well, we scared the other one, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Get out your lucky shovel. Hmm. <laughs> 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 well, the, the army doesn't have, or excuse me, the, the United States, they have a knife. Oh. It's the Germans that have the shovel. Well, shovel seems far more useful. Mm hmm How are you going to dig a shit in hole with a knife? Yeah, exactly. Well, and you can use the E-tool for all kinds of things. Not only can you dig the shit in hole, but you can also sit on it. You <laughs> sit on the edge of it as you poop, if you set it up just right, turn it into like a little seat, and then you can sit on the edge of it, spread that your cheeks just right. Unsanitary. You gotta be careful so you don't shit all over your shovel. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to get shit on your shovel. <laughs> you don't. It's inevitable though. It's gonna happen at some point. <laughs> yeah, I was in the army for three and a half years. Jinx was in for a little bit too. Not as long as she probably should have been. I'm a troublemaker. <laughs> Jinx is a troublemaker. I was a troublemaker. Mm-hmm. It's your fault. It's my fault. <laughs> Don't let her lie to you guys. <laughs> she was a troublemaker way before she ever me met me. <laughs> if anything's my fault, it's that she's not as much of a troublemaker. I know, right? <laughs> Bringing me down. Yeah. Bringing down your, your troublemaking abilities. Yeah. Can't get into near as much trouble. Now, I've never played as the anti-tank guy, so I don't I don't even know what all this comes with. Uh, okay, we get a bazooka. <laughs> Seems helpful. Nice. Got some grenades. Bandage and her knife. Okay. Uh, it says that. Oh, we're being shot at. It says that we can also deploy an anti tank gun. Not sure how you do that, though. Now, going down the roads is always kind of risky. You must always have like, a machine gunner at the edge of it just spraying down at the mm -hmm. little. any sign of movement. I hear a vehicle. Yeah. Is it to the right? I think it's this, actually. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's that one stuck up there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so somebody drove it up into the bushes. <laughs> up into the hedges. And and these hedges is what made the Battle of France so difficult for the Americans. There's the tank we need to go destroy. All the god dang hedges. Mm-hmm. Alright, so I'd love to go fight that tank, but we've got to get closer. I think shoot, shooting this off this close is a mistake. Oh shit, he's got infantry <laughs> support. Alright, so let's run up along the hedges. But yeah, you can see that they have uh, at least somebody over here supporting them. Alright, so it should probably be on this end. <laughs> So that when he comes onto the road, we're not just standing there like an idiot. Alright, so we're going to try and explode this guy. We're going to want to hit him from behind, where his armor's weaker. Where is he? I think he's on the other side of that hedge. Yeah, we can hear him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Guy's everywhere. Get out of there. Shoot your rocket launcher. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Alright, just chuck those. <laughs> Cover oh. our... <laughs> uh, we died. Our grenade exploded, though. I don't know if we hit anybody. 
<laughs> Medic. So this has so far been my worst match ever <laughs> when it comes to the kill death ratio right now, guys. We are having a lot of difficulty in this match, unfortunately. I probably should have played a match or two before we started tonight. I played last night though and I felt like I felt confident because I did really good last night. But you weren't fresh. Yeah, I wasn't fresh off of it. Fresh and you're killing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was always more difficult to play too in the recording, you know, in addition to the providing commentary, you're also uh uh you're also got the T V a lot lower. So it's yeah. difficult to hear. I can't hear anything. And I find myself just naturally moving much faster mm -hmm. and sprinting much more and just trying to get into the fight. Because, you know, we have such limited time for the video. And I don't want to spend, you know, so much of it running. And so I try and get up into the fight more. Mm -hmm. Which probably results in me dying more, I think. I oh, shit. Out. Somebody got him. I don't know if that was us or... Oh. Doesn't matter, we died. He was avenged. Alright, so we did kill that guy. So I think that was like our fourth kill of the entire match, guys. So, <laughs> we have not been doing well on this one. It's been a rough one. Oh, but we achieved victory. victory. So that's what's important. It looks like our team was able to take that last objective there, guys. So yeah, we, uh, I don't know where we're at on here. Looking at the Sofa King. <laughs> so we had Obama and Obama's dad in this match. Oh, okay. Got the whole family. Alright, so just looking for our team here, or our character. Alright, we were down here. I mean, that's not bad compared to some of the other people on the, the team. We did alright. The kill-death ratio oh. was abysmal. Like, it was horrible. Oh, now, one of the things about the promotions is... If you don't finish the match, then you barely get any experience. And so you... Oh, we just got the medic promotion. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, if you don't finish the match, then you'll barely get any experience. So you have to finish the matches if you ever want to get any kind of experience. Now, the thing with that, though, is these matches can take forever. Now, this one was a fairly quick one, but I've seen matches take an hour and a half or longer. Well, yeah, because... Doesn't it add time as points are taken? Yeah, as they take a new objective, then it adds more time onto it. And so sometimes it can last an incredibly long time, like when it's a slower match. And so yeah, I've seen them last an hour and a half, or I could have swore one of them was like two hours. I wasn't timing it, uh, but it felt like really long. And so yeah, I think uh, it can be difficult to, to complete the match and to get that experience sometimes. And it just results in, in getting experience. Uh, like, I should be a much higher level here if I had finished the matches. I just don't have that much time to play. When I play, like, a multiplayer game, I'm hopping in for, like, 30 minutes, 45 sometimes. Uh, I'm just looking to play, like, one match. Like, with the Battlefield, that'd be enough to finish the match. Uh, but in this game, yeah, that's just not enough time. Uh, so I find myself constantly, like, quitting matches before they're actually done with. And thus, I haven't been getting as much experience as I should be. Uh, but now I have two classes at the level two. The Automatic Rifleman and the, the Medic here. Uh, but yeah, you can see here, guys, I'm very much still... Still pretty newbie, uh, but these upgrades do let you get some different appearance changes. So like uh, here, I now have a couple different helmets and hats here. It looks like we also have a different head we can choose. So we don't have to have that one crazy eye look maybe <laughs> as the Americans. Let's see, because I don't want to be crazy eyes anymore. Yeah, we can be this guy. Okay. Yeah, we'll be that guy. I think we'll have to change that for all of our characters here, but uh, we also have some different helmets unlocked. No, 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 we do not. The Americans don't have as many helmets. That's one thing about the, the Germans. They got a lot of helmets, stylish. guys. Yeah, they have a lot of helmets. And so more options to be able to unlock here. Uh, yeah, these are some of the things you unlock, mostly cosmetics. However, once you get certain levels, you do also unlock the different weapons. So, you know, the different classes have, like, uh, different weapon choices here that you can unlock. So that's really the only, like... Uh, kind of practical advantage that you get here as you unlock different, uh, as you level up your class. Uh, other than that, everything else is appearance based. Anyway, so I hope you guys did enjoy this second video. We might do a third one. I don't know. I was planning on probably doing a third one because, you know, the first one did pretty well. A lot of people watched it. And so I was thinking we'd do, you know, this one and then one more. Uh, however, I don't know because, man, this was a rough one. Uh, this is, again, this is the worst match I've had in a long time. 
Uh, that was uh, pretty bad. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know how entertaining people are finding this. Uh, we'll cut. <laughs> we'll cut a lot of that running out. Maybe not all of it because it'd be like the whole video. But we'll cut some of that running uh, and some of the respawning and stuff. Uh, but yeah, it was a uh, it was a rough match, guys. So we might have another one. We'll see. We'll see how this one does. See if you guys like it. Let us know down in the comments below. Uh, but if you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like on it so we know. Uh, subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment if you're playing the game. Love to hear what you've been thinking of it. Uh, I've been enjoying it, though. It's been a nice change of pace from the typical FPS multiplayer game. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking. Uh, I do hope to see you guys in another video. And thanks for watching.